hello and welcome to the show. It's me, JP. It's time for another episode of JP's Product Pick of the Week. Thank you all so much for stopping by today. Uh, first of all, that string. Where did that string come from? That's just going to bug me because the fan is blowing it all around. All right. That string is gone. Uh, so what do we have going on? First of all, thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you're wondering where the chat is happening at, jump on over to our Discord server. That's at adafru.it slash Discord. Jump on over into the live broadcast chat channel. People are hanging out there. Uh, hello, and uh, thanks for stopping by. C. Grover and Skur and Jim Hendrickson, Franklin and Debow Dog in the house Blitz City DIY, Evil Dave of Canada. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, also, in our YouTube chat, we've got Dave Odessa and Quinman16. Hello. Uh, thanks, thanks for jumping in. Quinman, what do you mean by you had 2JP sign? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Uh, let me know. Let me know in the chat. I'll keep an eye out. Uh, let's see. Also, if you want to watch this show from inside the product page and get a jump start on checking it out and making your own mind up, if this is for you, if you'd like to get this week's product pick, that's it right there, product ID 4479. It is half off. Uh, we've got it on a deep, deep discount right here for you today. Uh, normally $9.95, and today it's $4.98 just during this show. Um, but what is it? What, what is he talking about? Well, head on over there or hit, hit that QR code there if you uh, want to use your camera or your phone to, to jump over there instead of typing like a savage. Just point your, your robot, pocket robot phone at it and it'll take you there. Uh, so this show happens right inside of the product page there or any of the other multitude of places that you can watch Adafruit live streams. Um, but before I go any further, I'm going to have Lady Ada tell us a little bit about this product. This is uh, a quick one, but here's, here's a little bit about it from the new, new, new video, and then I'll get into some more details for you. So take it away, Lady Ada. We've got the LIS 3MDL magnetometer. So it's a triple axis magnetometer. It's a nice little sensor, has I squared C, has SPI, has I think like uh, four, six, eight, twelve 12 Gauss range. So nice big range, you can use this for magnetics, but it, honestly it's best for doing um, earth magnetic field detection. Um, this is just the STM32F405 feather, uh, and it's got a uh, stomach QT connector on it. And then I've got here the magnetometer and uh, the accelerometer gyroscope. I've got to really zoom in to see. And it can display, you know, the nine off senses. That's right. I said it was brief, right? Uh, but look, there it is, and I'm going to talk more about it. There is this beautiful little STEM QT module, the LIS 3D ML. Uh, let's talk about this. This is my product pick of the week this week. It is the three-axis magnetometer LIS 3D MDL. It is a STEM QT board, so you can plug and play over I squared C and use it like a compass. This one is tuned particularly well for magnetic north, for detecting the Earth's magnetic field. Some of these magnetometers are, are more suited for strong magnets. Um, they're tuned for maybe using as, um, as detection for uh, joysticks, 3D joysticks and things like that. This one really is a magnet module. So uh, let's take a look at it. Let's talk about it here. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go to the overhead view here. Here you can see. Uh, this has two STEM QT ports on it. It has jumpers for two different addresses. So you could, depending on what you needed in your project, have two of these. Uh, or if you have a conflicting address, you can, you can grab a different one. Uh, and you can pipe your STEM QT through to pair this up with other, other sensors like Lady Ada did in her demo. Uh, we also have pins. So you can, if you're not using the STEM QT uh, cable, you can also use pins to connect this into a breadboard, a permaproto, a circuit board of your choosing. Uh, but this detects on three axes, which you can then uh, use code both to calibrate it, to, to get rid of noise of other, other local magnets and hone in on the Earth's magnetic north, uh, and then give you a heading, which is often what you want out of these type of modules, which is just where's, where's north, which I, I keep pointing it that way because that's basically north uh, from where I stand. Um, so... 
let's uh, let me let me plug this in and give you a little demo. So I'm going to back this camera out here and refocus, uh, and I'll show you how easy it is to set this up. So first of all, I'll plug a Stemma QT cable in right there, uh, and then I'm going to use this. Let me try to get these oriented happily. Uh, I'm going to use this board, which is a Feather ESP32-S3 reverse TFT. So there's all the, all the guts there, and there's our Stemma QT port. Uh, and there's a nice TFT display. Um, and for now, what I'll do is I'll just plug in a battery. And what this is going to do is print out the uh, compass heading. So when I get to about zero, uh, or 360, 3. 59, 1, that, that range of things, 0. Uh, that is north. And you can see we can point this around, pivot this around, get about 180. There's south. There's west. Find east over here. Uh, so I just have it spitting out the degrees uh, on, on the display there. And you can also check out with a little finer grain detail. I just didn't want to print out the decimal places on there to keep the display neat. Uh, but if you take a look at this view here, you can see I am printing out to the serial uh, REPL there, uh, degrees with a couple of points of uh, precision, decimal precision there. Uh, and you can take a look at how this code works. So uh, in this case, what I'm doing, I'm importing uh, a couple of important math libraries, ATAN2 and degrees. I'm importing the list 3 MDL uh, library, which is specific to this uh, chip here. And then I'm doing some display stuff. Uh, I'll get to this later, but you can see I have some offset values that I'm using. I calibrated this, and, I'm, and that's important. Uh, we'll come back to that. But if you just want to ask it, maybe before you've calibrated, just with whatever magnets happen to be around, uh, what is my heading? What we're going to do is set up I square C, set up the sensor as a sensor on I square C, and then we're using this, uh, you can use the default, I think this may be the default, but I'm setting it to the, the 16 Gauss range, you can change that. Uh, and then we have a couple of functions here. We're using the vector two degrees and asking uh, it to return a vector based on two inputs, the X and Y values. Uh, and we're also getting this uh, heading from the sensor by saying, okay, give me the magnet value of X and Y, which are uh, two of the three um, values you get when you just sim simply ask this sensor for its magnetic uh, value. It'll give you X, Y, and Z. We're just going to ask for X and Y. Uh, and then in the main... Uh, loop of the code, what we do is first heading, get heading sensor, so that uses that function to say, okay, what are X and Y on this, uh, on this chip here? And then I'm printing that out, uh, and then I'm also uh, saying print that to my screen uh, using label text. Uh, but what that does, you can see when I say get heading, it jumps up and it says get the X and Y, and then go and return for me the vector uh, which is what's returning this 0 to 360 here. Now, you can see here I mentioned I've got an offset, uh, and I'm using that offset here in this get heading. I'm saying the calibrated X and the calibrated Y are based on the magnetic readings on X and Y minus these two offsets. Uh, so there are a couple ways you can get these, and I'll show you the, uh, the library, and uh, or rather I'll show you the learn guide for this in a second. Uh, at first I used the uh, sensor lab code in Arduino that uh, Adafruit has out there to help you um, calibrate this. And then later, I was able to actually get some code from uh, C. Grover. Uh, he's attributed Melissa up here, but C. Grover did some modifications to this um, calibration library, and he's working on some updated code for this that hopefully we'll publish and, and put into the guide. Uh, but this goes through and takes a bunch of samples and uh, throws away the sort of distracting magnets. So you do some uh, revolutions on each axis, uh, and it can figure out what the, uh, the necessary offset to sub subtract is. So then I took those values and put them into my final code. Uh, we might even work that up into a nice slick thing where you can hit a button to put it into calibration mode and then automatically subtract those when you're using it. Uh, so if you want to take a look here, this is... Uh, product page for this here, list 3 MDL. It's $4.98 right now. Hopefully we still have some in stock. I think we had about 100 
uh, at the start of the show. Looks like we still do. That's great. Um, you don't need a coupon code. If you want to buy this, just throw it in your cart. You can get up to 10 of them. Check out before the end of the show or just uh, a few minute grace period after, and it is yours at that great price. Uh, some info about it, some links, and then if you follow the Learn Guide links here, you'll see we've got uh, the primary guide for this as well as that Sensor Lab one I mentioned, um, and I can, I can show you those. So here is the main guide. It will take you through uh, info about it, the pinout, how to put it together and use it in your project, uh, as well as the uh, download section, which will give you some data sheet you can download as well as other uh, fab information. And then there are examples for using this in both Arduino and in CircuitPython. So this will show you how to set it up, use the list 3 MDL library in Arduino, or same sort of thing right here in Python or CircuitPython. Uh, code is available. Yeah, Jeff Hunt. Hi, uh, Jeff in the YouTube chat asks if the code is available. Code I'm using right now, uh, you can use the magnetometer calibration uh, code in Arduino here, but soon you'll also be able to do it in CircuitPython. Uh, and the, the actual example code I'm using, if you just look here at the bottom of the Learn Guide CircuitPython page, this is uh, going to give you some basic magnet sensing. If you go to the um, library on GitHub, so there's a link right there, and check out the examples section, uh, list3mdl compass, that's the code that I'm using, uh, and then on top of that I'm also subtracting the, uh, the calibration data. So pretty soon the guide will show you how to do all of that. Um, and uh, if you want to um, take a look back probably in a week or so, we should have both the uh, calibration code and that compass example there in the main learn guide page. Uh, let's see, so what else? Um, what am I forgetting? Here's a lovely product photo of it right there. Uh, you can see it shows the uh, silk screen has the axes listed there, so uh, this has X, normally you'll keep this flat, X pointed this way, Y to the side, Z up, and it uses, um, it's able to use any of those uh, or combinations of those axes, depending on the orientation of your project, whatever makes sense. Um, but laying it flat like this is, is the best way for, uh, for our example code that we have there. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh, DJ Devon 3 says picked up a couple of them for wind detection. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool, for wind direction. Yeah, so what do you do? Do you mount that on a, a, a weather uh, sail kind of thing, a little weather cups? I don't know how you do that. I don't know much about weather uh, wind measurement. Uh, wind vane, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a, that's a neat idea. Um, you can also use this for things like robotics, um, for any type of projects that want to guide, guide an object based on map uh, information. Um, it's useful for that. And a uh, pretty similar module to what you find in the um, six DOF and nine DOF sensors that'll, that'll combine things like the magnetometer, the accelerometer, and the gyro. Uh, and this is just the magnetometer. So, so you have a project that doesn't need the big $20 uh, nine DOF thing. You just, you just really want a, a compass. Uh, this is the module for you. Uh, so, like I said, head on over to that URL right there if you want to go pick them up. That will, uh, that will take you to the product page. Discount applies just during the show. You don't need a coupon code. Um, and one other thing, by the way, I wanted to show here is that I have um, a little battery power going on there. So you can see if I, if I need to uh, take this off the computer, no problem. Feather has a little charger in there, so that'll, that'll work well. Uh, and I'm able to find north where I'm going. All right, I think that's going to do it. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions in the chat. Um, looks like we're all good. Yeah, so go grab some. Uh, let's see, Gorty G says, I'd mount the magnetometer on the mast and a magnet on the weather vane. Oh, ah, interesting. Okay, so, so use the um, magnetometer in a fixed position, but just move a, a magnet bolted to the, uh, to the vein. Neat, that's very cool. All right, I think that is gonna do it then for today. Uh, so that right there, that's it. That's my product pick of the week this week. It is the list, let me say that again, 
That's my product pick of the week this week. It is the List 3 MDL 3-axis magnetometer breakout with Stemma QT. For Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park. This has been JP's product pick of the week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.